First look at Awaken OS version 2.2 official build based on Android 12 running on the POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and we have a new build of Awaken OS version is 2.2 based on Android 12 available for the POCO F1. Security patch as you can see is from December 2021. The kernel they are using is Silver Core. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. Now do note this is the build which comes with Google Apps baked in which I am running on my device right now and here it is. Pixel launcher in the building. Select works without any issues. Screenshot also works they have added the option to delete the screenshot in case you want to as for the power menu this is how your power menu is going to look like and of course you do have your advanced restart as well volume panel this is how the volume panel looks like if you expand it you do get the other sliders on the bottom quick settings panel bam here it is these are your quick setting tiles which are available and they have added the tiles for cpu info fps info is also there along with the toggles to enable or disable your mic and camera phone access along with compass caffeine dark theme data saver and a bunch of other tiles screenshot yes you do have the option of partial screenshot once you toggle this then press and hold and bam here it is you should now be able to take a partial screenshot working without any issues other than that you do have separate tiles for your internet which is your wi-fi and your mobile data in case you want to have more tiles go ahead edit it and these are the other tiles which you can add while we are talking about the quick setting tiles you do have your screen recording working without any issues you can record internal audio and microphone at the same time and you have a bunch of other options with respect to the screen recorder as well next up while we are on the home screen you can see that the weather is working without any issues if i go into home settings the home settings header in pixel launcher is now collapsible you do have at a glance you can configure what all content you want to see in that sticky widget and you have material you toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now then we can go ahead and check out the different widgets which are available so once you update all the applications from the play store you are going to get the new people in pets widget for google photos then you also have the paint chips or paint tiles easter egg for the clock you have five different options and if you add specific clocks the analog one does let you choose between four different clock faces here it is working without any issues let us go ahead and now we can go into wallpapers and style but before i forget let us check out if you have the new weather widgets as well so go into the google widget section and yes you do have the new weather widgets going back into wallpapers and style so this is how it is going to look like do note this is using the material you or monet by k dragon you do have themed icon you can change your app grid and you have a toggle for dark theme as well here it is this is how the dark theme is going to look like so everything switches over to dark mode which includes your power menu quick settings panel and i think this is a better implementation because with dark theme disabled everything is now on a lighter background then we can go ahead and change the wallpaper to something else now do note you do have the Motif wallpapers and you also have the three new wallpapers from the December drop in curated culture. Let us try to use this wallpaper to see if Material U is working or not. And here it is home and lock screen both wallpaper was applied successfully material you kicked in everything has adapted to the new color scheme which includes your power menu accent colors your volume panel accent color and the same applies for your quick settings accent color as well so yes material you is kicking and rocking on this specific build working like a boss as i would like to call it Next up, we can open the application drawer here and let us see if system wide search is working or not. So here it is. As soon as I search for SY, you will notice we are getting a bunch of different options. And besides the settings icon, we do have the search icon. If you tap on it, it takes you to the settings search, which is accessible by going into settings and then tapping on the search settings option over here as well. Going back into settings, this is how the settings page now looks like. And we can jump over to 
apps let us go into chrome go into permissions and you do have permissions to disable the network and sensor access similarly you have a toggle to remove the permissions and free up space if the app is not used for some time go into location you do have three different options the toggle for precise location is missing then going back into the settings main page for your applications you do have default apps so yes pixel launcher is baked in then you have your unused apps so here in apps for which permissions are removed are going to show up going into notifications you do have per app notification control along with notification history once you enable the master toggle for notification history priority conversations and bubbles are also there but do note whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then you also have a toggle to disable or enable annoying notifications wherein it is going to play a sound and vibrate for notifications when the screen is on if the toggle is enabled then you have a toggle for saner heads up notifications a notification log is also present and you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now next option in settings is battery so if you tap on the percentage you do get a bar graph similarly if you go into thermal profiles you do have per app thermal profiles and here are the different options which you can choose battery usage takes you to the same page and in battery saver you do have your pixel exclusive extreme battery saver along with the normal battery saver and you can of course set a schedule for your battery saver based on routine or based on percentage going to battery you can enable or disable your adaptive battery and do not worry about battery percentage that is present in display moving over to the sound options you do have sliders for all the different options which you see on your screen then you have a toggle to enable or disable the linking and unlinking of ring and notification volumes in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that as well once you enable this you can configure your start volume and the ramp up time then you have live caption works without any issues and you also have the option of enabling live caption for calls adaptive sound is present along with customization for your quick settings media player and you also have the option of configuring your vibration intensity for notifications ringtones and haptic feedback along with customizing your ringtone vibration pattern something which is present in oxygen os and you can of course create a custom ringtone vibration pattern as well then you have toggles for all the different options which you see along with the toggle to enable or disable the screenshot sound and you also have in call vibration toggles and me sound enhancer is also baked into the rom next up we have display so of course you can configure your brightness level in case you want to and that animation of the brightness slider disappearing is pretty dope you have a toggle for adaptive brightness and you also have configuration or customization for your lock screen so yes always on display is there works without any issues the animations of always on display are pretty smooth and pretty dope as well then you also have double tap to wake up here it is working without any issues double tap to wake have a look at that super cool animation when you swipe up wow then you can also wake your screen for new notifications if you go into advanced you have your ambient display master toggle along with toggles for pickup raise to wake hand wave and pocket mode then in display you also have screen timeout along with the option of screen attention dark theme is present you can enable it and you can schedule it based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise then you can change the font size you have options for different fonts as well and you have the oneplus slate sans mandrope linote and enter then you also have icon packs now where do these apply once you change these these are going to apply to the icons within this quick setting tiles and you can also change your display size the dpi monet engine customization is also present so in case you want to use accurate shades you have a toggle for that then if you do not like the accent color of the wallpaper disable this toggle accent color picker let me choose red and wait for the ui changes to kick in bam here it is red in the building and you can also change the colorfulness so once i move the slider towards the left have a look at the 
toggle color it is going to go a bit lighter there it is so this is your colorfulness toggle then you can also use a custom lightness scale as well so once i increase this again keep an eye out on the colors there it is you can see the background went a bit lighter and now it went a bit darker so this is your monet engine then you also have night light again you can configure it from sunset to sunrise or from a custom time and you can change the intensity using the slider you can switch between natural boosted adaptive multiple color options and the images from the pixel drop of december are present and you can also configure the rgb strength using the sliders which you see on your screen right now as you can see everything is working absolutely fine then you have the option of auto rotate screen and you also have enable face detection toggle prevent accidental wake up toggle is there along with the toggle for double tap to wake go into display customizations first of all you have your battery style multiple options for the battery style where do you want the percentage hidden inside the icon or next to the icon then you have battery estimates toggle you have customization for your clock the style do you want to see the seconds do you want to see the date etc and you have status bar items customization as well toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now then in case you want to combine the signal icons you have a toggle for that and toggles for roaming indicator small mobile type icon and see the 4g icon instead of lte next option in settings is the option of security so herein you will see that you only have fingerprint unlock you do not have face unlock now do not expect face unlock in android 12 based aosp roms because a lot has changed with respect to the code moving over to privacy you do have your android 12 privacy dashboard wherein you can see what all applications have accessed say camera microphone calendar then you have master toggles to enable or disable your camera access and microphone access along with the toggle to enable or disable the show clipboard access option then we can jump over to the option of location so again you have a master toggle to enable or disable your location and multiple location services options are also present next up we can go into system so here in yes you do have live translate and it works without any issues it works in youtube along with live caption so that is something which is pretty dope and while we are talking about live translate do note that if i go ahead and go into messaging let me go ahead and try to voice chat and if i tap on the question mark you will see i have different options so this is your ai typing which is present in the pixel 6 and you have commands like clear clear all there it is you see everything was cleared and it is still listening so this is one of the pixel 6 exclusive features which i think is working pretty dope and pretty cool on this specific build going back into system and live translate you can of course add your languages and configure a bunch of different options we do have a specific video for live translate which can be found in the description of the video going into gestures you again have quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice so System navigation you have three different options gestures two button or three button sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge can be configured you can also swipe to invoke assistant and you can configure your pill length as well and once you enable full screen gestures the pill my dear friends is hidden so that is a pretty nifty feature 100 mode is there works without any issues then you have customization for press and hold the power button in case you want to invoke the assistant using this enable the toggle and you can also configure the press and hold duration then you also have the option of enabling three finger screenshot in case you want to toggle torch with the screen off do you want to double tap the power button or do you want to long press the power button then you have prevent ringing by pressing your power and volume up together you can switch between vibrate mute or cycle through the different options you have a toggle to enable or disable advanced to restart double tap to sleep on the status bar let us give it a try there it is working without any issues along with double tap to wake and you have toggles for playback control or for volume button wake up your screen next up in system we have the option of rules so in case you want to set up a rule that once you leave your home you want to turn off your wi-fi and turn on your bluetooth that is something which you can configure in settings system and rules
next thing we can do is let us go ahead and open the play store now do note that the build is not and i repeat not rooted out of the box and play store is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption picture in picture live translate of course for live caption to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium with respect to google photos unfortunately you do not get the feature of magic eraser but you do get the feature of portrait light so let us go ahead try to edit this picture wait for the loading bar to finish go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light in the building and as you can see working without any issues and super important thing to note over here is that portrait light only works on human objects not going to work on my chicken friend over here next up with respect to the assistant lady she is there she works absolutely fine with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well now do note you also have interpreter mode wherein you can converse with people in different languages and interpreter mode also works absolutely fine on this specific build Next up, let us have a look at the app opening animations to see if you have any lags, any jitters in the app opening animations. Nope, nothing like that. Recents, here it is, pretty smooth and pretty fast. Then we can go ahead and switch over to our Google feed only if we can. The gesture has all of a sudden stopped working and this might be a bug. So if I tap over here, and then try to access the gesture it doesn't work tap over here and we are back in business so i'm not sure whether it is a rom issue or something else let me try to recreate the issue to see if we have any such issue or that was a one-off thing well looks like it was a one-off thing because i'm not able to reproduce the issue there it is now we can switch over to our google feed to see if you have any lags or any jitters when you're scrolling through your feed nope everything is working absolutely fine the transition from your google feed to the home screen is pretty smooth as well next up let us try to switch between a few applications using the gesture here it is everything is working absolutely fine no issues to report now now something which i noticed is with respect to the recorder application if i try to record the recording works absolutely fine but the transcript option is not working if i try to turn it on you will see it is not transcribing anything here it is it is telling me that live transcription is turned off whereas when i try to turn it on again nothing happens so that is a minor bug with respect to the recorder application but other than that again awaken os is pretty good pretty smooth like it has been since android 11 days on the poco f1 and good to see a pretty great android 12 rom with some pixel 6 features available for the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you